My name is Greg Holiday, and I'm with Bradford White. And I'm here to show you the Aerotherm heat pump water heater. And you might ask yourself, why would a heat pump water heater ever be an important item to me? There's a very simple reason for that. This is the first and the only water heater ever made that actually pays for itself in energy savings. Every water heater up until this point has been less than 100% efficient, which means by definition, the water heater loses money. Now, some water heaters are more efficient than others and they lose less. Electric water heaters have always been kind of at the top of that chain, somewhere in that 90% efficient and now 95% efficient range. This water heater, however, says I'm gonna do things a little bit different. I'm a hybrid water heater that actually can make heat, but I can move heat as well using a heat pump. Now, heat pumps are not something to be afraid of. Every American home has at least one, if not two or three heat pumps in it. We call them refrigerators, we call them dehumidifiers, uh, we call them air conditioning systems. Those are all products that say I can take heat from one spot, either inside or outside, and move it someplace else. The refrigerator doesn't make the compartment inside of it colder, it simply makes it less warm by extracting the heat and dropping it at your feet in the floor. This water heater says I can do that as well by running in reverse. I can pull heat from the air around the tank, heat being anything that's 35 degrees or higher, and I can extract that heat through the evaporator, attach it to the 134A refrigerant, compress that gas to boil it and make it super hot, and release the heat by wrapping that hot condenser line around the outside of the tank, never touching the water. Now why is that important? Because 85% of the country has hard water which means your home is likely to have that as well. If I don't touch the water, I don't have to worry about cleaning or have any lack of efficiency as a result. We then blow in about two inches of non-CFC foam to create an R19 energy blanket around this tank so that it loses only about five degrees in eight hours. So this heat pump can extract enough heat and put it into the tank. And when it, to heat this tank all the way to 140 degrees, just like the electric heating elements do. But here's the difference. Electric heating elements draw 4,500 watts of power. That's equivalent of about 45 light bulbs in your house. When the heat pump heats the tank, it only uses 550 watts of power. That's the equivalent of five and a half light bulbs in your house. What would you rather have in your home? 45 lights coming on every time you heat water or just five and a half? So the heat pump in moving heat creates about a 60 to 70% savings. That's about three to $400 a year on a product that doesn't have just a six year typical warranty, but a 10 year warranty. 10 years on all the parts, compressor, condenser, evaporator, tank, yes, even the heating elements. 10 years of saving you three to $400 a year is gonna equal about three to $4,000 on a product that in many parts of the country is installed for as little as $2,000. Then you've got the benefit of rebates from utilities that can drive that cost even further down. So if you've got a $500 rebate from the utility, this could be about a $1,500 installed product. Now it saves three, $400 a year. You're looking at a four-year payback, five-year payback on a water heater that never was capable of paying for itself before. Some people think a tankless water heater is the way to go. Well, it is if you've got a family that you don't want to ever run out of hot water. But a gas tankless water heater can never pay for itself. Only a heat pump water heater. So by definition, this is the only style of water heater that can be called Energy Star. So this causes a new reason for selling water heaters. Today, plumbers will sell and install a water heater when two things happen. Failure in the home or new construction in the market. This creates a third category that says, now I can replace a water heater proactively because I want to save the homeowner enough money that this water heater pays for itself. I can get the energy uh, the losses that I'm getting on a typical water heater and make it up with a heat pump water heater instantly. So every day that I leave my old tank in there, I'm giving the power company $25, 30 $35 a month that could be in my pocket. It pays for itself. This is the only heat pump water heater that has top connections on it. Top, and the reason for that is because that way you can replace an existing water heater with very little modifications, if any. And it's also the only heat pump water heater uh, that's built in Michigan. This is built at the Bradford facility in Middleville, Michigan. No other heat pump water heater can make that claim of even being manufactured in the United States. So this is a, uh, an American strong product. We are very proud of it, Brad Fuller.